Hello, welcome back to Out of Line Art. I'm Abriana, the artist, and in today's video, I wanted to do something inspired by Black History Month, February, I'm half black, so why not? So I wanted to do something on the take of black girl magic and kind of do like a black queen, ethereal sort of vibe. I'm also trying to push myself to try new techniques that I may be uncomfortable with and this is more like a portrait style and I don't do a lot of like skin tone portrait things so this one was definitely fun. I am very happy with how it turned out and I'm going to be trying to do a voiceover for this video saying my kind of my thought process and little tips and tricks and just kind of what's going on while I'm doing this so hope you like it hope you get something out of it maybe just some entertainment learn something new give it a like subscribe and hope to see you next time bye here I'm just painting the base of the dress making sure to only do up and down brush strokes because I want you to be able to see the brush strokes and only going in the up and down motion. Here I'm painting a white base layer that's kind of wet, keeping my brush pretty wet, and then going over that with this purple to make really smooth, soft lines, like it's just kind of like a smoky, magical, ethereal look. And so just keep the brush wet, paint wet, and it helps it blend really nicely. So for the skin, I have three colors already mixed out of base, like my main brown color, a lighter one, and then a darker one. And so I'm going in first with that main brown color, and then I'll go back in the darker spots with the reddish dark brown, and then in the lighter spots, kind of a mix of unbleached titanium white and burnt sienna. Here I have this paint marker that I got from online from Blake Art Materials. If you're interested, I really like these markers. They're Posca, P-O-S-C-A, obviously not sponsored, but I do really like them. They're nice for small details and when I just really don't want to mess with I'm using a teeny tiny brush.
here I'm adding some phthalo green to her dress. I wanted to keep her kind of connected to earth and nature and I felt the best way to do that was through her dress. So for the face, I'm doing the same thing with the arms, that base, brown color, and for some of the parts that I know I want highlighted, I'm keeping my brush a little more wet and then going in with the lighter color and then shaping the nose with my darkest color. A friend told me to, when doing faces to kind of do it like doing makeup and that really helped me decide where to place colors. and so. Here, I'm starting to shape some bantu nuts for her hair. I already laid down kind of this bright spacing I wanted based on my reference photo. And then trying to give them a little uneven rounded edges to make them a bit more organic. And then you'll see me going in with white to highlight and add kind of like the shape and direction the hair would go if it was kind of twisted up in a knot. And then overneath or over the seams and creases beneath the sections of the hair. I'm taking black paint, but really watered down black paint and just lightly brushing the brush over the canvas and kind of pushing the paint back. And so it's a little more translucent, but still has that darker shade. Like it's not just completely bare skin. Save the hands for last because they're the most challenging. I didn't want to do a harsh outline on this portrait and especially on the hands so I did my best to use the darker shading to really form the proper outline of the hands while making sure the palm of the hand is bright enough to show that contrast between the fingers and the palm.
finishing it off with some gold paint brush strokes to fill in some space because I didn't want it to be too busy. I didn't really want to change that much about the background. But yeah, there she is in all her glory. Big thank you again if you made it this far into the video. I hope you enjoy. Maybe let me know one of your favorite parts about this painting and also comment any suggestions for future painting ideas. I always like ideas. See you next time. Bye.